today we're going to discuss how to replace a single pole switch. My name is Craig Mashad and I am the electrical instructor. So we all have single pole switches in our house. We turn on lights in our bathrooms, our kitchens, our living rooms, bedrooms, everywhere. Every now and then they go bad and a lot of it is just the connection internally is not, is worn out. So basically all we have to do is replace a single pole switch. Misconception that a lot of people have is, you know, oh, my light doesn't work or, oh, you know, my outlets aren't working, this, that, and the other thing. So what you have to remember is sometimes the problem is right in front of you and it's really nothing more than your single pole switch. What does a single pole switch do? Well, it makes and breaks a connection and allows power to transfer to your light and to your outlets, depending on if you have a switched outlet or a light or a ceiling fan. So one of the things that you have to do is replace, uh, replace switches. It does happen. Sometimes they could last 50 years. Sometimes they can last five years. It all depends, uh, depending on how often you use it. Do you use it under a major load? I don't know. So basically what happens is you have issues with your light switch, you need to replace them. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to replace that single pole switch. Here's the thing, if you don't feel comfortable replacing or working with electricity, totally fine. You know, this is for homeowners, students, um, anybody. What I want you to understand is, if you don't feel comfortable working with electricity, don't do it. Always remember, work with the power off, and if you have to, call an electrician. It's very simple. So, what do we do? Well, let me show you how to change a single pole switch. So this is the first thing you need to do. You need to remove the cover. The next step is to remove your switch. Okay, with the power off, you're going to remove your switch. Now, as you can see, I tape my switches. You're going to remove the wire off the screws. we remove the single pole switch. So before you do anything, after you remove your switch, sometimes your wires get a little mangled up. You gotta make sure your hooks are okay because you have to reconnect it. All you have to do is take a pair of pliers and just readjust them. Now a single pole switch works like this. We have a conductor that goes to our light fixture or our outlet. We have a conductor that goes to our feed. That's your power coming in. By taking your power coming in and your switch leg, because remember you need two, two uh, conductors to make a single pole switch work properly. So now we're going to take our single pole switch and we're going to replace it. A single pole switch has two terminals on it. These two terminals are what transfers the power through. It does not matter which power the switch leg goes on or the feed goes on. Also remember your ground screw. Now, in older homes, the ground screw may be the metal box. 
So you're going to want to make sure you remove the plastic tabs so that you can ground your switch. So let's replace it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to stick my wire back onto my device. And squeeze my squeeze my conductor. You're going to want to use a straight tip screwdriver because that gives you more torque on your screw. Phillips head works, but they strip out pretty easy. So your best bet is to use a straight tip screwdriver and make it tight, snug, so the wire does not come off. We'll take the other wire and we'll connect it. We'll do the same thing, tighten the screw down. Remember, your screws and your wire, your wire hook is going to loop around the screw. So as you tighten that screw, it's actually going to close the conductor and to make a good tight connection. Because the last thing we want to do is have a loose connection. Okay, so we move it around, we're good. Last thing we need to do is replace our ground. Tighten it down. Okay. Always make sure if you have a ground wire, you connect it. Now what do we have to do? Now we have to look at our switch and we should be able to read off on our switch. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our wire and we're going to tuck it back into our box. When you're done, re replace the plate. Replace the plate. Replace the plate, and your job is complete. The next thing you're going to want to do is turn the power on and make sure the switch works. This is a very basic how to replace a single pole switch. If you have any questions, leave me a comment. If this video helped you, please leave me a like. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. Have a great day and be safe.